Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from I am J Dubs. Yo, can you give me a lift tomorrow? I need to be at this street by 7:20 a.m. Can't, man. Got work at 7:30. Sorry, man. Pick me up at 6.30 a.m. at the Korean church, intersection of here and here, right side parking lot. From this mall, the mainstream here is 10 minutes. You can make it work. Main Street. Sends pick. It's doable. I have to work at 9 a.m. I have to be back in here by then. It's very doable, trust me. Come on, man. I used to work two jobs back to back from morning to overnight in my early years. You just need the willpower, which it seems you are lacking right now. I feel like the only one who's lacking here is you in the sense that you're lacking a ride. They're not doing anything wrong, especially considering you want them to have 10 minutes to get from wherever they're dropping you off to work. Yeah, they're really lacking something. <laughs> This next one is by Ash Zealot. In search of free, 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 free. Working for one weekend only, refrigerator. Having a party, don't have enough room for food and drinks. To be clear, I want a fridge that will only need to work for one weekend. This upcoming weekend, July 3rd. F it, you can come to my gathering if you bring one refrigerator. DM me. Pretty poor party planning when you can't even have a refrigerator to store all of the stuff needed, and then you want to ask for one for free. You know, come to think about it, I don't think I've ever heard of a refrigerator rental company either. Outside of a home appliance store, but using it for a day? This next one is from Get Weird. Hi babes, I'm hiring a private cook for trade for July. My month is busy serving clients and I need to be fed. I want several home-cooked meals delivered weekly for four weeks. Single or full-time mamas might be an ideal match, or a man who wants to cook for a busy working woman. I'll give VIP space on my books to receive life-altering, deeply healing, transformative bodywork. This will be ideal for an individual who's maybe given birth and never received care or safe space to heal and integrate their traumas and wants a deep relaxation reset. I assume the cooking and meal prep will be much cheaper than the amount of money of my work, which is extra awesome for you. This is high value for me because time is money and I don't have as much available to slow cook or prep my foods. I need to be well nourished and fed. I don't do dietary restrictions and aim for 2000 plus calories a day. Meats, broths, root vegetables, raw milk, butters, organs, fish, cooked fruits, and ancestral eating is the vibe. Butter me up, baby. I'd be happy to share my resources for pro-metabolic eating if it's interesting to you, which will support your body plus health journey too. You'll have a weekly VIP spot on my books. And I'm sure after they mentioned that VIP spot again, they also reiterated how much of a deal it was and how awesome it was for whoever took that offer up, which let's hope nobody did. This next one is by that level three dude. I have a family member who is seeking the services of a fully insured professional tree lopping service for this rare and money making opportunity. They have 5 to 10 trees, maybe more, that are around 20 meters tall that they require to be cut down. But here's the deal, you cut the trees and you keep all the wood you can take and sell. Each tree is around 20 meters tall and each tree can perhaps fill maybe 10 trailers full of wood and generally a trailer selling for around $250, you're looking of making around $2500 or more per tree. And if you take between 5 and 10 trees, you're looking at making a lot more money in this. This is a win-win scenario here. You cut trees for free at a pace that suits your capabilities and you keep all the profit. 
Please also know you have to be fully insured and be a business as there are houses, shed, and property all around. And some trees are close, so you would have to be able to climb the trees and take it down piece by piece in a safe professional manner. The property is in the central coast in a suburb called Glenning Valley. Message me for more information and expressions of interest. Please keep in mind, the right person who is interested will be needed to have a look and check the site in person to see just what is required and have a chat with the owners, so please ensure proof of insurance, business, and previous experience can be verified. Send me a PM for those interested. No time wasters. You say at the end, no time wasters, but I feel like anybody who gets to the end, you're the one that wasted their time. Because if you think about it, they're still going to have to rent the trailer, perform the work, and God knows how long it's going to take to actually cut all that down and return said profit. This next one is from Incognito Zombie. Hello there, thank you for your interest in the order selector night shift position at this location. I'm following up with you to see if we can set you up for an interview. If you are still interested, please let me know when we can get you scheduled for an interview. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Why do I need an interview for an entry level job? Can't you just tell me a start date? All you companies spend 10 years piss farting around, hiring people and make the hiring process for jobs so painful nobody wants to bother. Not interested. You know, having an interview is pretty standard. It doesn't matter if it's entry level or professional level. When you go for a new job, you have to go for an interview. Good luck finding a job with that go-getting attitude. This next one is by WKyle82. Can you give me about price more details? You can find pricing at this website. How much is it for all day? Wedding. $2,000. What consists of all day? 6 a.m. till 12 midnight? 10 hours. You can find all package details at the website I provided along with a tour. So this even goes for our decorators? That is correct. We have a two-day package for $2,800 that gets five hours the night before, or you can add $100 per hour extra on the day of. Thank you for the information, but I will look for another one because this is not enough time for us. I will write a review. This is not the place to be recommended for a wedding. Excuse me? Thanks. My friend recommended me, but I don't think so. I live out of state. Why would you write a negative review about my business when you haven't even been in it? It's beautiful, but the price, 2800 is a good price, but no time to decorate and live in our moment. You can add as much time as you want. $100 for each additional hour. Yes, I understand it's not a fit for you. I just don't understand why you would take the time to review my business poorly to others. No worries. Thank you for checking with us. Have a great day. Why would this beggar even bother leaving a review, unless it was just a veiled threat to try to get a lower price, which we know beggars try to do, but in this day and age, I feel like reviews need to be verified. You need to have had the service or made a purchase or something to be able to actually leave a review. This next one is from, we like to have fun here. Let's talk babysitter rates. I pay hourly for date nights, small sessions, etc. However, for all day care, I usually offer a set amount. Is this not common practice? I had someone tell me today when I asked for all day care, 8 to 4 o'clock, that it would be $10 an hour. $80 a day for one kid where I provide food and transportation. Seems steep to me. That's $400 for the whole week. This girl is 16 years old. I'm honestly asking because I do not feel I was in the wrong, so I want to see if where everyone else stood of this and picked up some opinions from other mamas. Thanks in advance. The bottom line is, some sitters that watch your kid will take a weekly rate, but that weekly rate has to actually be something they can survive on or pay bills with. It can't be a chump change rate. 
And while home daycare is usually cheaper than a traditional daycare, you still need to pay someone what they're worth. This next one is by Froze. Good morning. I'm in need of a little help. I'm looking for a reliable teenager who wants to make $50 a week babysitting. Hours are from 7.30 to 1 and 1 to 4. They'll walk my babies to summer school, drop off at 9.15 a.m., go back and pick up one sibling at 1 p.m., then keep him until 4, while going back to summer school to pick up the next sibling at dismissal, 4 p.m., Monday through Friday. My name is This. Thank you for the community support. I really don't think a teenager is going to see $50 a week and working that amount of hours is a really good deal. They could go get a job making $10 an hour, work 5 hours, they've already done that and worked way less than they would if they did for you. And our final one is from Nightsaber94. Just happened and I thought it belonged here. Having a beer at the bar of a beach resort in the Bahamas. A middle-aged woman comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder. I turn around and she hands me a laminated card. My first thought is, wow, laminated, very nice. And then I read the text. My name is Cheyenne, I'm deaf, looking for sponsors for a hearing aid. At this point, I'm buzzed enough that I feel like helping out, so grab $20 USD and try to hand it to her. She shakes her head and taps lower on the card. Further down, it states along the lines of, To avoid difficulties, I'm only accepting donations starting at $100. I turn back and say, Seriously? To which she nods, which makes me pretty skeptical she's deaf. So I say, Okay, put the money back in my wallet and turn around. She taps me again and points at my wallet nodding. I just tell her no and she sighs and walks away. Bloody cheeky. You'd think if somebody's willing to give you something, that something is better than nothing and that something is more than you had before you even approached that person, but I don't know, these beggars are just out there and when they have these set amounts that they'll only accept, it just shows they're greedy beyond belief. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.